so we have arrived at the Ling Ong Pagoda, which is a uh, very famous Buddhist temple here in Da Nang. Right now I'm standing under the 200 meter statue of the Bodhisattva Kuan Yin. Probably one of the tallest statues of the Bodhisattva herself. Something you can do while you're here is place some money into this box and you can uh, pray and make a wish. So naturally, being only a few miles south from the city it originates, another local food here in Da Nang is Kun Bo Hui. Alright, I'm gonna give it a shot. I added some spice, so there's that. The first thing I'm getting is that it's very sour. It's sour, savory, and I add a lot of chili, so it's also spicy. Okay, so we just finished lunch and are now currently uh, just waiting for a taxi and also just drinking some coffee. It's almost 2 p.m. I'm hoping to go to the beach after this and then at 4 p.m. we're gonna go to uh, Oyan. So yeah, that's kind of the plan at the moment and uh, for now I'm just gonna just enjoy this uh, Vietnamese coffee. very hot during the day in Da Nang. There's never really a lot of people out in the middle of the day when it comes to visiting the beach. Because for context, this was the same beach at 5 a.m. And this 
is the beach at almost 3 p.m. The sun is still high in the sky and there's like almost nobody here because no one wants to get sunburned or tanned. You can actually see the Bodhisattva statue there in the distance. It's not that far, actually. Coming out here to the beach at like 3 p.m. or just any time in the middle of the day is kind of like trade off because on one hand you have the whole beach to yourself but on the other hand you're gonna get a lot of sunburn but personally I think coming out here is definitely better because like as long as you have sunscreen you'll be fine so yeah So we've arrived back at our hotel room and we're gonna head to Hoi An in 10 minutes. But with the power of editing, we'll be at Hoi An in 3, 2, 1. We have arrived.